we'll get to the tracks between four and six in the morning if we work all the way through. Yeah. Then that leaves you two hours to get up at eight o'clock, and that just doesn't really happen, does no, it? No, I think sometimes we'll get up a bit later and unload, do the maintenance, and then you can. And then, yeah, relax. once we kind of get the car ready and it's like lunch yeah. time ish. Have your feed. Yeah, we'll come in, have a feed, and then have like an hour or maybe two hours snooze before cranking up at about three o'clock usually. Yeah. So. That's the. Yeah. Catches up to you when you slow down. It's easier just to yeah, keep moving. Yeah, just keep pushing on. She's not as bad, but yeah. But then sometimes what we we'll do is we'll stay at the track. So you get done at the track at yeah, like your one one thirty kind of thing. We might do an hour and then sleep until eight, and then get on down the road yeah. and get to the track a little later the next day. But for me, it's just easier if we're at the track and then you're kind of there. It's getting to an easy spot where you can leave when you need to leave, and you're not getting tired in there waiting for everyone else to pull out as well. We kind of, our gig is just get as close as the entry to the track as you can and close to the dirt car trailer. So we try and get in a decent spot. It rains all the time over here and you don't yeah. want to be parking anywhere. You're going to get bogged. We already got bogged once. Yeah. Uh, that's why we left early and I was bucketing down so yeah, we went straight out of there. Yeah, once it started raining, Joey was just like back around. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Haddock, how did we sort how did we survive any more than one day with the King Brendan Selly? <laughs> Brendan Selly. Oh, Brenda, eh? He likes the tap house. Breadworks. Breadworks. The bread does not work. The bread's horrible at Breadworks. What was the other joint? Pretty much those two. Yeah, Starbucks. Maybe we're Starbucks there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he also likes to wear singlets and then have his guns out as well. So. We got a pretty good photo of his guns out, yeah. why not? And he's actually a surprisingly good drawer. Yeah, that's been very good. Remember them stick on notes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. yeah, nah, Brendo was horrible, didn't enjoy him at yeah, all. Yeah, never again. <laughs> Love you, Brendo. Um, so, Tim, how different is the surfaces of each track and the difference between our tracks and these? Joey, what do you think of I, the tracks over here? I love the tracks over here. So they're more of like... You can't just have the biggest engine and go out there and just gas on. It just, I mean, some tracks, yeah, 100%, but I think it works out good where you need a big engine for qualifying, um, and then you, you're into your heats. You do qualify, a whole lap to qualify, you heat race straight into the pitch. Only one heat. Um, so it's less, it's going to get 40 laps, most features on the yeah. summer Usually you put 60 laps on your stuff at night, yeah. usually. So the tracks, yeah, I think, I think they do great preparation nine times out of ten. And um, where it goes slick, and I think oh, I like a slick track. I wish our track sort of back at home would slick off a bit. This juiced up sort of stuff kills gear. And yeah, the difference between back home and here is the banking as well. Yeah, like yeah. when it goes slick back home, it's not even a real slick. Like over here, it gets proper You're slick. You're running on ice, aren't proper you? ice. Yeah, so it gets slick. But when it gets slick back home, because there's not a whole lot of banking, you just kind of end up running around the bottom kind yeah. of thing. So over here they bank it and usually they'll leave like a mud ring right around the bottom so you can drive slowly as you can right against the tyres in the moisture the middle will be slick as buggery and then against the wall there's a cushion that you just bash off yeah. so that this is not every track obviously but this is kind of the well they go to the inner ring like the bull rings yeah, around here yeah like the, like the Illinois bull rings yeah they get it right. They're bloody awesome. It makes so. it real racy. If you got if it's slick for the middle of that, it's racy as. And, and the like, beauty of it is, is if it's moisture on the bottom like that, and then it's slick. If you miss the moisture, you're gonna be slower than the guy that's in the moisture. Yeah. So you, you actually got to drive the car well and have your car set up well. Yeah, so you can't really just yeah. You got to chase your setup as well. Like each every race, you sort of chase it to tighten the car up or make it a little bit freer. Depends on track conditions, but yeah. uh, I think they. They don't spend as much time on tracks as yeah. we notice. We've gone to a few tracks and they sort of just whip a bit of water out on it. And I think the biggest difference with track prep back home is a lot of people complain about the dust. Over here, the race fans are just like, bring it on. We <laughs> yeah. just want to see a good race in the feature. So qualifying will usually be hammered down or whatever against a cushion. And then the heat race is usually pretty dusty, dirty, and you're running right around the bottom usually. And the race fans don't care about the dust. They just wear their glasses. They've got their hats on and stuff. Yeah, keep the dust out of their covered, eyes. They cover their heads and when they're loving it. Loving it. And then because they've then blown the dust off, the track is racy as buggery. Yeah. We're back home once it gets dusty. 
everyone kind of complains and the track guys have to go out there and work it to make sure it's not dusty. Yeah. Which, I mean, you don't want to be sitting in dust all night. I completely understand that. But over here for these guys that make a living, they jump up and down a little bit and say, look, we need a track that's racy so we can actually race and try and make money. So it's yeah. completely different. Yeah, definitely. But the thing is I don't get, like back home, everything's so much more expensive because of the exchange rate. Our tyres are dearer. I understand that. But also, like, to buy a motor... And yeah, it's different. Uh, it's a different yeah, ball it's game, just, isn't it? It's yeah. just different. And over here, it's so slick that you just... Paul's motors, we've got the smallest little restrictors in them that we can find, and then you just putting around a lot of the times in the yeah. finals. There's so. a lot of crate cars that actually do... A lot of regional crate guys that do seriously yeah. well. Like, And the crate stuff does well back at home as well, but when you go to Albany or whatever, when it's juiced up on the cushion, they just can't compete because yeah. it's fast, so... Yeah. I don't know what the answer is, but... Uh, they're definitely different. They're different tracks, and I can understand why the tra- Australian tracks are like they are, because everyone's kind of just used to not being dusty. They want to yeah. see... And and I feel like there's more of a... They concentrate on track records more, don't you think? Yeah. We're over yeah. here. Yeah. If you here. break the track record, people are jumping up and down the pit area because, like, this track's too fast, you need to slow it down, we don't need to be doing this. Yeah. So it's just a mentality thing, I think. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it seems like the tyre rule here, I think, makes a, it's. A, I think it's a good thing, really. Like, yeah, everyone's on the same playing field, and so with the summer nationals, for most of the series, they run LM twenties, left front, right front, left rear, and then an LM thirty and 40 or a forty option, option on yeah. the right rear, and you have to run four tyres, qualifying heat race, and you can put a right rear on for the final. Yeah. So. You're not throwing tyres at the car all night. Sort of keeps it into, for the guys that can't afford to put new tyres on every oh, race, I think it keeps it in a good little playing field. And it's way less work. Like when we're over here in 19, you'd probably use worse tyres more often just because you could, but you're always flipping them. Yeah. You're always putting different ones on. Try- right now, you just put a set on for the night. That's it. And you just run it all night long and they're. Yeah, like one you, set to clean. And it makes you think in the heat, you can't be yeah. just gassing on it everywhere. You've got to actually save your tyres for a qualifier through your heat, and if you've got to run a B main as well, yeah. and then through the A main. So when we are at Springfield and I ran the car, we missed qualifying, and went out in the heat race, and I was just gassing on it around the top, trying to get into the transfer spot. Missed it by one. Tyres were absolutely shagged. Blistered. Like, blistered up to yep. buggery. And then in the B main, just dropped like a rock. So it's just a it's a big chess game all night long to make sure you've got the best stuff. It's definitely hard. Like if you blister a left rear up in your qualifying run, you got to blister tire the whole night. Yeah, that's it. Or you're if run. you want to put a different one on, you got to start on the tail. So catch twenty two. Yeah, it's one of those sort of things, isn't it? Hope that answered the question. Not sure what the question was. Yeah. I've got to ramble in a bit there. But yeah. <laughs> sorry. But that's about it. That's most of the questions at the moment. The ones that aren't thrown shade and stuff. But <laughs> yeah. But that was been a good deal so but just it's been fun we're just about finished with the summer nationals now what do we got left three four oh we're going to race sunday now we're going to rain out down sunday right, tomorrow one more yeah so yeah. three, three nights three, left uh, yeah two and three quarter nights left um, back home to a couple couple days bit of testing back home we pick up wade cunningham he will be there and then we test at putnamville on tuesday and then shoot February, February for the, the PDC. It'll be there Thursday. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Back to Greencastle Sunday probably, because usually there's a bit of a party going on February. Um, we don't like parties. We don't party at we all. We don't party. Nope. Um, shoot, where do we go from there? Cedar Lake, Cedar Lake, Wisconsin for the USA Nationals. We're in the Fans Fund deal, which is awesome. Um, and that's going to kind of help pay for our trip out there which is really cool thanks fans fund that's a good deal then after that I reckon Jamo's in I reckon I'm out oh no I think you got to one more week yeah. Couple weeks, something, yeah and then Jackie and Jordan Cunningham are in we got in the north south in that's Florence up. for that three or four nights there with the Lucas and then Joey leaves us and then I don't even want to think about that, Joe. Yeah. That upset me. It's video calls. Yeah, I guess we're just FaceTime. Well, we touched it. knees already, so... We did touch knees. interesting to see what happens a couple more days in the road together. And knees are pretty much touching right now. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought that. 
<laughs> so yeah, hope that hopefully that answers a few of your questions. If you've got any more questions, just feel free to message us and we'll probably do another one of these videos in a couple of days. Yeah, looking here we've done twenty two minutes of blabbing on so Jeez. Chase, you're doing a bloody bloody good job, yeah. mate. We appreciate you doing this, so yep. we're enjoying it. Keeps a bit of the banter up with us and Yeah, it just keeps us like ticking on Yeah, going. Yeah. You can kinda of get in a rut sometimes. So it's good to um yeah, Joe's been recording some stuff that we've been doing back home and it's been good. Been good. So yeah. We're gonna have a shower now and put the Lucas oil not back together, on. Not to get <laughs> separate showers. And um yeah, I guess we'll try again tomorrow. Stubbs is Stubbs has been up on the wheel the last couple He's of nights actually. He's um confidence see confidence is key, we tell you. Confidence is key. Confidence. We changed our brake package up quite a bit and um Stubbs is up on the wheel. He's confident. So. Yep. So it was a bloody good night tonight. So we're... what was that saying we said tonight? Which one? Hunziker said. Uh... The less time you sleep, the less time you spend sleeping, the more time you spend winning. Yeah. Or something something like, that. like that. So we figure we're about due to start winning. <laughs> See bags. <though>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tired at all. Nah. So yeah. All right. That's us. Thanks, guys. Sorry we bored you, but. Tough titties. Tough titties. Thanks, guys. Gadgets.